Hi, I'm Jennifer from J Stern Designs, and today we're going to make yoga pants. Um, it's very common when you're working with knit fabric to think serger, but I have really good news for you. You could do knit pants or yoga pants on your sewing machine just as nicely. And I'm going to give you some tips for working with all-purpose thread and stretchy thread. I want to start with the um, all-purpose thread, and I already have my machine threaded for that. When you sew on knits, it helps to use a shorter stitch length. So I'm going to just change my stitch length to a 1.8, 2.0 stitch length. And I'm just going to run it through the machine and stitch a seam to show you how that works without doing anything. So we're just going to pretend we're sewing, and I'm just going to sew this. I'm just going to do a little bit so you have an idea. Oh, um, I'm using this lovely orange color because it contrasts. You can see what I'm doing. Um, and let me show you how this works. Oh, hold on. Okay. There's nifty um, cut thre uh, thread cutters. All right, so see this stitch is um, all-purpose thread. And I just want to show you something. See how it's really not stretching very much? That's what happens when you stitch with all-purpose thread on knit fabric. There's not a lot of give. It does stretch a little bit, but let me show you how to get a better built-in stretch. So I'll go on this side this time. And what we're going to do is I'm going to put this under here. And as I sew, I'm going to gently stretch my fabric. You always want to do this on a scrap first so you know how much you can get away with stretching because it will look a little, it may look a little stretched when you get done, but it steams out. And if it doesn't steam out, that means you stretch too hard. So I'm just going to hold it from the back and the front. And as I sew, I'm just going to move my hands with the needle. I mean, with the feed dogs. I'm not holding it back or pulling it through. You know, it can just work little, little amounts at a time. All right, let's compare this one. Okay. All right, so you can see it does have a little bit of a ripple to it, but it will steam out. And then notice how much more stretchy this is. All right, so that's if you're working with your all-purpose thread. Now I'm going to switch. I'm just going to quickly um, take my all-purpose thread out, and I'm going to put a stretchy thread in the machine. I love working with this thread because um, you don't have to stretch your fabric. This thread, oh wait, let me show you before I put it in, actually. So look at this thread, um, and you can see that it has some give. Isn't that cool? It has just the right amount of give to make a perfect seam with knits. Now, it's important to use a stretch needle. So I have a um, size 14 stretch needle in the machine. And I'm using this thread in both the bobbin and the top. When you wind your bobbin, if you wind it just a tad slower than normal, um, I find that to be helpful. All right, so there we are. Okay. All right, so I'm just going to thread this right up. Okay. All right. All right, I'm just going to stick this right through here. All right, now, now we're all set. Oops, sorry about that machine. Okay. All right, so now we're all set. I'm going to um, show you the yoga pants we're going to be working on. Okay, so this pattern is a really easy pattern. It's got one pattern piece. And you can see here, this is the inseam, and this is the crotch. We're going to sew the inseam first. I've already done that on this leg, so you can see how it looks. One thing about making your um, seams look professional if you're using a sewing machine is to is to top stitch um, after you sew your seam. And that what that does is it holds your seams down and it makes it look nice on the inside too. So that's a tip for getting a professional result on the sewing machine with knits. So I'm gonna just put this in my lap for right now. And 
we're going to fold this leg in half and we're going to sew this inseam. And I'm going to start at the top and I'm not a, a big pinner. I'm just going to put a pin at the top to hold it. And then I'm going to put a pin at the bottom. It's important to mind your, your hem length, I mean the hem edge, because if you just let this sew without sort of managing it as you go, you might end up having a shorter seam on the bottom and then the leg might twist. So you do want to make sure that you're keeping your edges even. And I'm going to use the side of my presser foot as a guide for my seam allowance because it's about a 3 8 inch seam allowance and um, it makes a nice guide for me to be accurate as I sew. So because we're using the stretchy thread, I don't have to worry about stretching the fabric as I go. All right, let me remove this pin. Okay. And I'm just gonna make sure all my edges are even as I go, and I'm just gonna sew all the way down. So again, I have orange thread in my machine so you can see what I'm doing, but you want to pick a thread that matches your fabric for seams. And then for your top stitching, and, the, and then for top stitching, you want to maybe pick something contrasting so it shows. All right, let me just finish this. All right. Okay, now what I'm gonna do, let me show you this first. See how nice and stretchy that is? So it's really nice. Now we're gonna top stitch it. And when you're working with a tube, you wanna sew inside the circle and you wanna start at the biggest opening. So I'm gonna start from the, the top of the inseam and I am pushing both of my seam allowances toward the back leg. And that way they'll all be going in the same direction when I go to put this together with the, um, to sew the crotch seam. So I'm gonna move my needle over just a little bit closer to my seam so I make sure I sew through the leg and both seam allowances. And I'm gonna also make my stitch length a little bit longer. Because we're working with stretchy thread, you can get away with that. So I'm just gonna put it to 3.0. And I'm just going to stitch down, and as I go, I'm just going to make sure those seam allowances are all going towards the back side. And you can see how I'm sewing in this large circle, and as I get towards the hem, it's going to get smaller and smaller, but I'll have enough room to make it. And I'm feeling through the fabric to make sure my seam allowances are going where they're supposed to be. All right, so now the legs are done. It's a quick step to put the crotch seam together. And the way you do that is you have two tubes. I'm gonna turn one right side out and one inside out. And then you take the right side out leg and put it inside the inside out leg so our right sides are together. And then that makes a nice, easy seam to finish your crotch. I'm gonna match my inseam and I'm just going to sew it up. So. You match inseam and you match waist at the front and back and then you just sew it together. So I am just going to start up at the back waist. I'm gonna start sewing. Okay, just make sure your edges are even. OK, 
Okay, and then when I get to the crotch, I'm just gonna line up my front and keep on going. So now we have legs and the last step, the last step to putting our yoga pants together is to add the waistband. Um, I have already constructed my waistband and I use a strip of knit and what I do is I find the halfway point between the seam of sewing the length of um, knit together and this becomes my center front. So I am just going to pin this area at my center front, right sides together. And then I'm just going to put my legs through the band so I can then match my um, back waistband with the center back seam. And to get a size, all you have to do is wrap the knit around and cut it the length that fits comfortable on you. So see, now I've got this waistband ready to go. Match all your edges, pin and sew. So it's basically everything we've been doing to do the legs, you're just gonna sew through all three layers of fabric. When that's finished, it's gonna look like this. And you can see here, I have my waistband um, and I top stitched the edge to give it a nice professional result. Um, and that's your completed yoga pants. Okay, all right, so for the hem, I like to use a fun utility stitch. Every sewing machine has various stitches. You wanna try that on a scrap. And you can see that these stitches really stretch with the fabric. So it's a simple matter of turning up your hem and stitching it down. So I hope you enjoyed making yoga pants with me today. It's so quick and fun, you're gonna to wanna to make them in every color and length.